Today we're going to make an edge tracing shader. It looks like this. We'll get started by adding a shader material. First, make a uniform sampler 2D. You can call it any name. Put your texture in it. Let's just draw the texture first. Make a function sample. It takes the input vector, I call it st, and it returns a float. Sample the texture at the st. Return the alpha. Make a vector 2 px for pixel. It's 1 divided by texture size. You have to send it LLD, just use 0. It returns iVec2, which is integer version of Vec2. So we're gonna need to turn that into Vec2. Make a float neighbor. Sample one pixel to the right, one pixel to the bottom, one pixel to the left, one pixel to the top. Add them up. Make a float center sample this exact pixel. Multiply this by 4. Make a float edge neighbor subtracted by center. This is the difference between the alpha of the neighboring pixels and this pixel. Draw a white color with the alpha of edge. So now you can see our edges. I want to only show part of the edge. Make a float lit and give it for example uv x add time to it and use mod to make it loop around now it scrolls horizontally we can make it scroll vertically or diagonally i don't like this direction let's subtract time instead of add the pattern gets obvious really quickly. If you want that, you can keep it. I don't want the scroll direction to be obvious. So I offset it by dot, UV, and then a rotating vector. You can see the scroll line sort of rotates around, but not relative to the center. So subtract 0.5. But it's not glowing yet. Add a world environment node. Set the background to canvas. Go to glow and enable. Turn the color past one. And now it's glowing. Now I'll clean up the code. You might have noticed that the neighbor and center values can go pretty far, so we'll clamp down the edge. This is already looking pretty good, but I don't like how all the edges are visible. Some are just dimmer. Adjust that curve a bit. Make a uniform float intensity. Okay, 3 looks pretty nice to me. Make a uniform VEC4 color. Remember to add the hint color. Uh, that way Godot will give us the color selector. Let's give it a uh, magenta. Swap the Y color with color.rgb. Lastly, add uniform float speed. Make a float t. This will be time multiplied by speed. Swap out all the time with t. And there we go.